Today we are talking about blood. It is not just random red liquid. It's made of many different kinds of molecules with many different functions. There are several body systems that we have that require blood to function properly. Cardiovascular, that's our hearts. Circulatory, that's all of our arteries and veins that circulate through our body. Lymphatic and immune are two systems that keep us healthy, that require vessels, just like our blood vessels, to circulate throughout our body. And then our endocrine system, that is all of our hormones that we require. Our insulin, our glucagon to keep our blood sugar normal. That requires our blood to circulate throughout the body and test those levels every single second of every single day. Those are just two of the hormones that we are made of. There are four main components of blood. What is plasma? Plasma, if you separate our blood, which they do if you go to the doctor and they take your blood, they spin it really fast in the centrifuge and it comes out looking like the picture in layers. So the top, the clear part is called plasma. That top clear part is 90% water, but there's also a lot of elements in there that our cells need to stay alive. That's where proteins and hormones are found. Plasma makes up all, over half of our blood. Like I said, if you separate it out, over half of it is going to be plasma. The second component is our red blood cells. These transport oxygen to body cells by binding to hemoglobin, which is a specific protein found on the red blood cells. And it's the hemoglobin in our blood plus oxygen, which makes our blood red. White blood cells. We only have a tiny, tiny amount of white blood cells. However, they're very, very important. They defend the body from infection. They also remove foreign substances in our blood like bacteria and viruses that we don't want in there. And platelets are the least amount, which they actually won't even show if they, in the centrifuged blood, when they separate them out, they're mixed with the white blood cells. But these are the cells in our blood that form blood clots when our skin is punctured. Blood typing. Everybody has a different blood type. You can either have type A, type B, type O, or type AB. And this is based on whether or not there are substances on the outside of our red blood cells that can cause an allergic reaction to other blood cells. These markers are genetic. You inherit them from your parents. And they are called protein markers, ABO protein markers. So red blood cells have different proteins on their surface that define a person's blood type. Humans can have blood type A, blood type B, blood type AB, where they have both proteins, or blood type O, where they don't have any of these proteins on the surface of their cells. And that's all illustrated at the bottom of the page. Your blood cells can also have an extra protein called an RH factor. It is either present or it's absent. And it is why your blood has either a negative or a positive after the letter. So you can be A positive if you have this RH factor, or if you don't have it, your blood type is called A negative. When you donate blood, or if you ever get a blood transfusion, it is very, very important that that blood matches. Those blood types have to match. Type A can donate to other type A's or even AB. But when they receive blood, if you are a type A, if you have type A blood, you can only receive blood from other type A's or even type O, because remember type O doesn't have anything on its surface. And then type B is the same. Type B can give to other type B's or AB. They can receive from other type B's or O, because O does not have any of those proteins on its surface. Type AB can give to other ABs, that's it. They try to give to another blood type. The A will set off the Bs and the Bs will set off the As. But they can receive from everyone. Type AB can receive from other type As, other type Bs, or type Os. They are called the universal recipient. And then type O can give to everyone because they don't have any of those proteins on their surface to cause allergic reactions to the other blood types but they can only receive from other type O's. So type O is called the universal donor. If you're given the wrong blood type, if a person is given the wrong blood type for whatever reason, the person has a severe allergic reaction and 
likely could lead to death. 